ladies and gentlemen, Donald J. Trump. What a great honor it must be for you to honor me tonight. <laughs> Especially here, where I've made my name and fortune, New York City. Great place. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Mr. Trump, sir, why would you ever do this roast? Honestly, it was worth it, because it's all going to charity. And they paid a lot, believe me. But the truth is, I specifically handpicked these recession-era, basic cable, nobodies, so that the city I love, the city that never sleeps, could finally get a well-deserved nap. That's right. This dais is the perfect metaphor for where America stands today. Look at our economy, barely moving, gasping for air, and desperately clinging to life, very much like Larry King. <laughs> the only difference is, with Larry, we have a never-ending supply of gas. <laughs> never ends. This great country of ours was built on its entrepreneurial spirit. And that spirit is best demonstrated by none other than my friend Snoop Dogg. His is a tale of do-rags to riches. It's true. It's true. He's very proud of that. That's why I'm so happy to see Snoop sitting up here next to his former rival, Biggie Smalls, right here. <laughs> I want to talk about one of the women on the dais. This amazing lady struggles with a seemingly insurmountable physical handicap. I speak, of course, of Whitney Cummings. <laughs> Whitney's career is crippled by her foul mouth. To hear that filthy language from someone so marginally attractive is, frankly, very unpleasant. <laughs> Lisa, or as I call her, Miss USDA, <laughs> I want you to be a judge at my next Miss Universe pageant. You're perfect. Because, like the universe, you're constantly expanding and filled with dark matter. <laughs> but there are some things that have brought shame upon this great land of ours, besides Lisa. I speak of the atrocities that we as a nation must endure, like the Jersey Shore. A piece of advice, my greasy friend. You don't need to put all of that product in your hair. You just don't. Look how great my hair looks. And I don't use anything. And it looks very good. What's the difference between a wet raccoon and Donald J. Trump's hair? A wet raccoon doesn't have seven billion dollars in the bank. Very funny. Okay, very funny. America is going through tough times, and we all need to laugh. True. I know that better days are ahead. If we believe in ourselves, and the way I believe in myself, and I really do believe in myself, <laughs> then come June, 
If I decide to run, you'll have the great pleasure of voting for the man that will easily go down as the greatest president in the history of the United States, me, Donald John Trump. God bless America, and good night. Good night.